Welcome to our lecture online. In these two examples, we're encountering something different again, something that makes the whole thing a little bit more challenging. In order to be able to graph these two equations, and they are indeed equations of circles, we need to first transform that form into this general form. In order to do so, we'll have to use a technique called completion of the square or completing the square. To make it simpler to see that, let me rewrite those equations as follows. Using some brackets, in here I write x squared minus 6x and I leave some space here. Then plus, again brackets, y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 0. Now, in the bracket on the right, you can see that this is simply the square, the square form of y minus 2 quantity squared. So to do this here, we need to also place this into a form where this is the perfect square over binomial squared. And in order to figure out what to place here, we take this number right here, the negative 6, and let's work that out on, this, on the side here. Negative 6, we divide it by 2, and we square it. And that means negative 3 quantity squared, which is 9. So to make this into a perfect square, we need to add 9 here. But of course, if we add 9 on the left side of the equation, we must add 9 to the right side of the equation. Now we can go ahead and write this in this particular format, the general format of a circle. So this can be written as x minus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 2 quantity squared is equal to, and 9 can be written as 3 squared. Notice again, if you work this out, you square this, you get 9. 2 times the product is 2 is minus 6x, so you can see that this is indeed the same as what we have over here. And now we're able to graph this more easily. First we find the center of the circle where x equals 3 and y equals 2. We're going to shift to the right 3 and we're going to shift up 2. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, and where those two meet right there, that's going to be the center of the circle, 3, 2. That's obtained by finding the shift of the center from the origin to x equals 3 and y equals 2. Now the radius is 3, which means from the center we can go up 3, 1, 2, 3. We go to the left 3, 1, 2, 3. We go down 3, 1, 2, 3, right where I put my 3 there. Let me put it over there. Okay. And to the right 3, 1, 2, 3, over here. And those four dots lie on the edge of that circle. So when we connect those four dots, we have the graph of the circle. Kind of a circle, anyway. All right, so that's the graph of that particular equation. And again, to figure out what that is, we have to use the completing of the square method. We'll do the same over here. Again, we'll write it using brackets. x squared plus 2x, and we'll leave some space, plus y squared minus 8y plus 16 is equal to, oh, I forgot to put a number there. How about the number 8? There we go. That will work. Again, we can write this as the quantity y minus 4 quantity squared. But how do we write this? Well, we need something there. And again, to find that, we'll use a different color. We take the middle term, the coefficient of the middle term, divide it by 2 and square it, which is 1 squared, which is equal to 1. So we need to add 1 here. And of course, we need to add 1 to the right side. OK, now that we have that, notice that this can be written as x plus 1 quantity squared. And here on the right side, 8 plus 1 is 9. That can be written as 3 squared. And now this is exactly in the same form as the general form of an equation. So now we can graph it by first finding the center. In the x direction, we shifted to the left by 1, so negative 1. And in the y direction, we shifted up by 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right there, I'll put a 4 there. And where those two meet, right there, is the center of the circle at negative 1, comma 4. Now to find the edge of the circle, we realize the radius is 3, which means we can go to the right by 3, 1, 2, 3. We go down by 3, 1, 2, 3. We go to the left by 3, 1, 2, 3. And up 3, 1, 2, 3. So let's draw the lines there and right there. So those four dots around the edge of the circle. We can now simply connect the four dots, and there's our 
beautiful well not beautiful circle i didn't do a very good job here let me try this again i missed this dot there we go there there and there eh, it's a little bit lopsided circle but hey not too bad for freehand and there's the circle represented representing this graph right here the center is at negative one and four and the radius of the circle is three units in any direction and that is how it's done you actually did it right this time did it correct this time